so I'm reading my Bible this morning, and, and I'm really praising God this morning, because God really made a major point in, we're going to be in Luke chapter 3 today, and um, He really revealed something to me. You, Unless you didn't know it, a walk with Christ is a quality walk, not a quantity walk. I mean, we're supposed to go forth and make disciples, and, and but you know what, it's really not us, because there's... If we're really doing it with pure intent, the Holy Spirit dwells in us, gives us counsel. Isn't it amazing that, I don't know about anybody else, but there's been times where I'm all knotted up inside, and I just say, Lord, help me, because I'm talking to somebody, because I want to share an amazing gift that's been given to me, and that's Jesus Christ. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, words come right to my lips, and I'm like, wow, Lord, you don't leave me, and you don't forsake me. Because we're going to talk a little bit about a few things, but there's this guy named John the Baptist. You know what? He didn't have a 40-year ministry. But in the short time that John was around, a year of ministry, then two years in prison, John had a powerful ministry. Yeah. It, you know, see, John was focused on God and his relationship with God, and he wasn't worried about what everybody else said was saying, John saw sin and he called it sin. He didn't micromanage it, settle it down, push it the other way, say, well, you know, I'm, I'm a work in progress. No, sin is sin. I have to say that. You know what? If we're honest and we're truly serving God and you want to be in the popularity con club of America, you will not end up in there. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> But you know what? At the time where the world knocks you down, God will lift you back up. Think about five years ago, all your friends, where are they now? Where are all my so-called friends from 20, 24 years ago that I ripped and roared with and I had this, we had these great schemes of how we were just going to become cartel members and rule the drug world and we had all this stuff going on. The problem was I was my best customer. <laughs> And you know, and everybody's gone. You know, and sometimes God needs to do that. We're gonna, we're gonna. There's a great analogy of, 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 of the threshing floor and how the chafe needs to be gone. And sometimes, unfortunately, and it's not the person. It's just what, how toxic a relationship can be. God needs to get that away from me so that He can work on me and take me to a place that He needs me to be, so that I can, honestly, be more like John the Baptist. Amen. You know, there's a part of me that still suffers from feeling inadequate. I can confess that to my Heavenly Father. But you know what? He still loves me even though I feel inadequate. I might get angry, but you know what? He's not like all my friends from 24 years ago. He's still with me. He, he never gave up on me. You know? I spent so much time worried about what the world thought of me that my life was a mess and I couldn't realize. And and it's it's like God's just saying, I'm right here, John. I'm right here. I I want to have a relationship with you. You know? So let's pray. So Lord, um give us focus so that we see you in everything that we're doing, Lord. And that the world does not become, if it, if it has been, Lord, take us away from all that thinking and, and that heart peace, Lord, where we're, 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 we're desiring approval from other people, Lord. Because, Lord, I know that what approval from you feels like, it's so blessed. You know what? I could never buy that feeling on the street, and it's something I always desire, Lord, that, that being filled. I'm not thirsty today, Lord, spiritually because you fill me up with your word. And I thank you, Jesus, for what you did on that cross. I pray that if anyone here this morning does not know you as Lord and Savior and has not proclaimed that and, and asked you into, your heart, into their heart, Lord, that they would do that this morning so that when they leave here, they'll have a friend in Jesus that will never leave them or they, will you forsake them, Lord. Pray for the people this morning, Lord. Put me behind a cross so that they not see, know, or hear me because it's not about me, Lord. It's, it's what you're going to do this morning. What you're going to say through me, Lord. 
And Lord, bind my tongue if there's anything that does not line up with your word. Please, Lord, take me away if it's, if it's blasphemy that's being taught here. But Lord, I pray that with you with me that the word will be faithful. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen.